of it out there, you struggle to find the time to hit the gym every day, well stay tuned because in this video we're going to share with you super affordable home fitness pieces of equipment that take that excuse away of not getting to the gym. Like most of you at home, I struggle to always get to the gym. I'll be honest, some days I don't make it and I wanted to learn more what can I do at home in a simple and affordable way. Well, to answer that question, I brought in the expert. Sarah with In Home Fit is here today to share with us some strategies. Well, one of the first pieces of equipment that I want to talk about mm -hmm. is the exercise ball. Awesome. It's a great tool. You can use it for strengthening, stretching, super affordable, and you can do a million things with it. Okay, so today, Lisa, we're going to do a great strengthening exercise to really tone the glutes and the legs. Okay. Something I need that, that all sure. women are looking to do, right? Yes. Okay, so really awesome exercise. I'm going to have you lay on your back, and you're actually going to put your feet Oh, on the ball with your legs bent at a 90 degree angle. 90 degrees. Yeah. Okay. Let's quick shoot that ball out. We want to control it and think of it as almost as two movements up, out, then in. Now slowly down. Great job. And you're going to feel that in the legs, the core, oh, yeah. the back. So many different things are firing for this exercise and that's why I love it. What a great thing to do at home when you can't get to the gym. I'm telling you folks, I mean that worked everything. Yeah. So if you can't go to the gym and you just bust out your exercise ball and start yeah. doing a routine on there, that was a really fabulous exercise. It is. It's All great. right, I'm excited. I am so pumped. Let's get to the next one you have for me. All Sarah. right, sounds great. So Sarah, what are we going to do next? You have this interesting ball in front of you. Talk to me about this. Okay, so this is an awesome tool. This is the Oogie Ball. The and what ball? The Oogie Ball. U-G-I. Yes, okay. U-G-I. And it stands for You Got It. And I just love the philosophy and behind this, this ball. It's, it's an awesome tool. You can use it so many different ways. And it's it's just a great tool. Okay. So where would you find something like this and what would something like this run you? Well, this is a little bit more of a specialty item. Okay. You're going to find it online, uh, oogie.com. Um, I think oogiefit.com actually. Mm -hmm. And you can also find it on Amazon. Okay. It runs a little bit more expensive than a regular exercise ball, about $100 but you can get it in all different weights. So this is the eight pound ball, mm -hmm. but you can get it in six pounds, 10 pounds, and I think 12 pounds. Okay. And it comes with a fantastic um, booklet with tons of different exercises. So it's just a really great tool. So talk about a really good affordable at home tool. I mean, yes, yes. it's a hundred bucks, but compared to paying monthly dues yep. or you know thousands of dollars on a piece of home equipment for a hundred dollars, you have something that I can do tons of things with. Yes. So let's get into that. Show me what I can do. Being a busy woman, I'm trying to fit in a workout. Okay. What's an exercise or two I could do with the Oogie Ball? Let's do a plank. So okay. you're going to be doing a plank on the ball. Mm -hmm. and you're actually going to have your arms on the ball, so it's going to add that little bit of. Um, unstable surface okay. again. Coming over here and wrists like so, Sarah? Yeah. Okay. That's great. And putting all the pressure there. And there you oh. go. You got it. So this is perfect, Lisa. You want to make sure that your hips don't sink. Okay. So you want to keep that back pulled up and not too bit of a too much of a sway. And you want to just make sure you're keeping those hips square to the floor, like Lisa's doing, and keep that um, back nice and strong so you don't want to fall in between those shoulder blades. You want to keep that back tight and breathe. Awesome. So what would you suggest? So how long of a duration on a plane? As, I mean, as long seconds. as you can hold it okay. with proper form. That's my recommendation for any exercise. Everyone is starting at a different level. 
So if you can hold it for five seconds, mm -hmm. that's great. You hold it for 15 and just, you know, keep working your way up. Now, what about one other thing with the plank is, what about a modification on yes. the plank? So let's just say I have, you know, lower back or knees, or I don't have the strength yet to do that. What would you suggest then to modify that plank? Would so I a great modification to the plank is doing the plank but being on your knees okay mm -hmm. so lisa can you go ahead and come right. back down to the ball all right like so yeah and, and then there you go so just make sure those hips there you go you don't want that back again to uh sway you want to keep that back nice and tight and you this is a great way to modify the plank if you can't do it on your feet. And then maybe as you're working through it, maybe start trying to pop up. Yes. For a couple seconds. Great tip. So yeah. pop down. That's right. You can alternate it. You can even bring one leg straight out and be one on one knee on the floor. And there you go. Makes it a little harder. Oh yeah. Great. Cool. Well thanks Sarah. That's awesome. Let's move on to the next piece that you All have. Alright. All right, Sarah, so what do we have here? This is our next piece of equipment, the ultimate sandbag. Yes, it is. So Lisa, this is another great, great piece of equipment. This is called the ultimate sandbag, and you can do a million things with this. It has all these handles on it, mm -hmm. so you can hold it in all different um, directions, mm -hmm. okay? And it's weighted, so inside of this bag is a sandbag. So it's really great because it unzippers and you can take out a sandbag or add to it. So Very cool. it um, is a great tool to um, like all over workout. You yeah. can do stuff with your arms and yes. your legs and squats yes. and all sorts of stuff. It's okay. awesome. How much do you know how much something like this runs? This is around a hundred dollars. Okay. Um, it depends on the size of the bag that you get. Um, you can find it again online, theultimatesandbag.com, okay. and Amazon also carries it okay. too. So Sarah, what do you think is a good thing we can do for us women again? We're trying to get some workout in, yeah. you know, we have, don't have time for the gym. Yeah. I need something quick and easy. What do you suggest to get us started with the sandbag? Well, let's do a full uh, body movement, and that's why I love this, because okay. if you don't have a lot of time, you know, you can do a few different moves with this and get a, a complete total body workout. Okay. So we're going to actually have you hold the bag. All right. Okay. You're going to do a side lunge today. And when you lunge out to the side, okay. you're going to think about, yep, yeah, very good. So you have that bag in front of you. You're not letting your knee go over your toe. And then when you come up, you're going to do a row, an, an upright row with your arms. Ah. So now I want you to lunge to the other side. So bring your foot in. Yes. And then this so foot you're goes lunge. out. Yeah. And lunge. And now upright row, bringing your feet together. Like Good. That. Yeah. Okay. So it's a little trickier. That's it takes a little cool. more time. But again, with this sandbag, there are a ton of movements that you can find online. And it also comes with an excellent um, DVD. So, so when I'm going to the side, I'm yes. going to the side, bringing it down. Yeah. And now am I bringing it up here? No. So I'm going you, there. Yep. And when you come, when you stand to center, then that's when up. you're gonna. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. I knew so, I was doing that wrong. So bring the important side. thing here, Lisa, is just making sure that when you step out. Good. Your hip is right in line with your knee, so you're not coming out and you're not coming in with your hip bring or back. going over your toe. Awesome. Love right that. Down. All right, moving on. So the next super affordable at-home piece of equipment is bands. And so Sarah, tell us about bands. There's different types of them. Yes. Where do we get started? I want a band. What do I need to know? Okay. Well, bands come in all different colors and basically the color is based on the resistance. So depending on the kind of band, um, you know, blue is our heavier resistance here, okay. and then orange is medium, and then we have this light green. Okay. And that's, is that for this brand? You know? That's for this brand. Okay. So yeah. if you are out shopping for bands, you know, just be aware that there are different um, resistances. Yes. Okay. Yes. Got it. 
Um, and then we have a different kind of band here. This is rubberbandits.com. And this is a great um, kind of band, little bit heavier resistance. So you're going to do a little bit different things with it. Okay. I love these for stretching. Um, I love these for more full body movements. All right, so today, Lisa, let's do some upper body work with this, okay? okay. So super simple. I'm going to have you stand on the band. With one foot? Yep. All right, one foot. Now you're gonna hold on to the band. Make sure you're holding on to the band. That's the one thing. You gotta mm. make sure that that band is secure so you don't want to, you know, let that band shoot up and, oh, and stamp you. Okay. So be careful with that. All right. So standing up nice and tall. Now all I want you to do is just curl those arms up. Great. And then back down. Now the key to the band is you're controlling the band. Don't let the band control you. And that's why I love these. Because on your way up, you have that resistance, but now on you the way down, to go down, yes. Okay. And it's a great exercise for that eccentric contraction, which just means that lowering phase, the lengthening phase of the muscle. It's just a great way to get a great strength workout. It's awesome. You it definitely is. feel it working. I, you know, a lot of people might foo-foo the bands, but yep, the bands, awesome. there's a lot of resistance there. They're great. And the key to this is not letting your elbows come forward on this one. So you're nice and um, tucked close to your sides, okay. which you are. You're doing a great job. Again, standing tall and really pulling in those shoulder blades. Awesome. Thanks, Sarah. Great job. Well, Sarah, thank you so much for all of your information. Now go get busy embracing your tasty greatness.